Hi, this is Linda Bessmer with Muses3, and I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of how to access TCRWP virtual collections in Mayan. I've gone ahead and put in um, our URL, and we want www.mayan.com. And when you get this screen, um, what you're going to do is click on the Mayan login. Um, here we're going to, if you just type spring branch and select spring branch middle school from the drop down box, our username is going to be G6 demo teacher or G7 demo teacher or G8 demo teacher, depending on the grade level that you want to look at. And the demo teachers do have demo students assigned to them and the students are already um, at either grade six, grade seven or grade eight. So each of the teacher has two demo students assigned to that teacher account and the demo students are reflective of the grade level. The password is the same for each and it's myon, M-Y-O-N, all lowercase, two, zero, two, three. And then we'll go ahead and click sign on. Now you might've noticed that there was an error message um, or a little um, alert indicating that um, you're supposed to be using Clever. We do not do that with the, um, um, when we're going to www.myon.com. And because these uh, demo student and demo teacher accounts have been set up outside of your Clever account, um, you can't go through Clever to get to them. So you do have to go to the website um, and uh, we'll just take a look. Um, your students are here, but what we're going to do is we're going to click on our classroom tab and we got, when we go to our classroom tab, we have the ability to actually select both of the students. Um, if we had 22 students, we could click on first and it would select all of the students, or you can simply select um, pick and choose the students that you want. I'm going to go ahead and select this student. And now I'm going to select an action. I'm going to assign TCRWP collection. And now I'm going to select, uh, let's look at the KLM Middle School Collection. And you will get a message whether the student already has a collection assigned or whether this is the first time you're assigning a collection to them. It will say, are you sure you want to change the collections? And you do need to say yes. And then um, that change um, should go through. That's worrisome that it didn't, but let's go ahead and check. Um, I, yes, I want that change. Um, and sometimes we might need to reload the site. Um, and let's see, and you'll, I did reload, I just refreshed the teacher site and you'll see now KLM Middle School has been assigned to that student. If I want to see what that looks like, um, when I click on library as a teacher, I can click on TCRWP collections, um, but how do I know which collection I'm looking at? So um, when I go up here to my teacher account, Spring Branch ISD demo grade six, um, and I go to user information, you can see that as a teacher, you can assign different TCRWP collections to yourself to view. So um, right now I do have the KLM middle school, but you could look at NOPQ or RST middle school. Um, but we'll go ahead and we'll stay with the KLM middle school for right now. Um, and then if I go back again to library and click on TCRWP collections, you can see that the categories should mimic what your book bins um, would reflect in the classroom. And again, I can click on um, any of these uh, categories or bins, and then um, you can see um, the individual books. 
when I open this up, um, it'll tell me what the guided reading level is. And if uh, whether you're teacher or student, if you want to read the book, you simply click on the read button. Go ahead and start the book. Ringed Giant, the planet. And if you don't want the audio, all you have to do is pull the slider bar down um, to mute the audio. And then as I go to each page, there won't be any audio. So students don't have to have the audio on if they don't wish to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and exit this book. And we'll go ahead and go back to our classroom. And let's go ahead and um, take our second demo student for grade six and assign them a different collection. So again, the first thing that I do is indicate which student I'm working with. Go up to select an action, assign TCRWP collection. Then I'm going to actually select a collection. So let's give this student the NOPQ middle school collection. Is that what I want? Yes. And again, um, in order to see that reflected, we may need to go ahead and refresh our teacher site. And you can see now the student has a different collection. So let's see what these look like from the student side. I'm going to go ahead and exit my teacher account by clicking on the little down arrow next to my avatar. And I'm just gonna click log out. Here I'm going to log in as a student now. So I'm going to go in as G6 demo student one. And again, the password is the same for both teachers and students here. Again, the myon, M-Y-O-N, all lowercase, 2023, 2023. Um, and so here's my student account. Um, for students to view their TCRWP assignment, they would click on library, and then they would click on TCRWP collections. And this is where the student has the um, uh, KLM collection. And again, if you click on space, you can see it's those same um, seven books. So, and again, the student would do the same thing to click they, um, they would simply click on the book and then indicate read. Um, what I'd like to do now is go ahead, I'm going to log out as demo student one. Let's log back in as demo student two. And of course the student when they logged in would put in Spring Branch. Um, it'll actually come up because your students will be logging in through um, Clever. Um, but here's my G6 demo student two. And my password again is myon, M Y O N 2023. I'll go ahead and click on the sign in button. Um, the first time students are in the system, it does bring up um, an interest inventory and students can indicate um, the kinds of things that they like the most. If they don't really like math, they do really like animals, um, they really like hobbies, they like sports, scary and gross, not really concerned about me. Um, and then um, when you save, this is also where the student would indicate if they want books in English and in Spanish or only books in English. So again, this is where those determinations are made. Um, these are things that can be easily changed, however. So um, the student would click on the save button. Um, now I'm in as my uh, demo student two for grade six. I'll click on library. I'll click on TCRWP collections. And you can see here, uh, rather than just space, because now I'm at um, an OPQ level. Um, when I click on space, it's space and space travel. And I have very different books than I had at the KLM level. So again, um, uh, very easy to go ahead and assign um, those books to students. Um, and again, you can view the TCRWP collections in your teacher account by 
um, changing the level that you, um, the TCRWP collection that you um, uh, want as your primary level, or again, you can assign them to these demo students and go in and see exactly what the student will see. I did want to mention, um, I'm going to go back into the teacher account very quickly. Again, um, I would be going into Spring Branch Middle School. I'm going to go back in as my G6 demo teacher. And I will use my password, Mayan2023. I did want to also show you that um, when you go to classroom as a teacher, um, you can also go to the project environment. And if you go to the Mayan cloud, you can also look at um, um, you can type in TCRWP. And there will be um, some different collections. Um, uh, we had set up some um, different um, uh, book bins for uh, KDISD before uh, the TCRWP virtual collections were available. Um, so you'll see some of those um, set up here. And if there are specific um, book bins or things that you all would like to see, we're happy to um, set those up for you as well. Um, and again, these were just um, based on the information that we had specifically from uh, Katie ISD as to the books that they wanted um, put into um, those specific projects. Please feel free to give us a call if you'd like more information or would like um, uh, us to visit with you. We'd be more than happy to do it. Again, my name is Linda Besmer with Muses3, and I'm one of your two project managers that services the Spring Branch ISD account. You can reach me at lynda at muses3.com or 281-923-6190. You can reach my partner, Dr. Carl Franklin at carl, C-A-R-L, at muses3.com or 281-770-4238. We're more than happy to help in any way that we can. Thank you so much. And we appreciate our partnership with Spring Branch ISD.